Dane, wake up. It's time to get going. We're only shunting today, so... Uh, you should be able to manage just fine, if you're feeling up to it. Good show, Dane. Wow, 1020, you look better than ever. <laughs> Did Bailey put something different in your firebox this morning? <laughs> no, Harwin. No. You didn't, did you? <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> He's feeling much better today. No boiler ache at all. But I'm still just shunting. Nothing important. What a waste of a good day. Well, you could always take my train if you wanted. I don't... know. I'm scared, Harwin. Neil's gone. And the railway board is cutting more and more of our funding for shiny new branch lines or facilities elsewhere on the railway. And now I'm old and I feel like they want to cut me out too. Hey, it doesn't matter if you're old. I know you're really useful, so does old Bailey. You and I, we're not going anywhere. We'll show these, these uh, purse clutching blokes how useful really are. You and me, easy. Easy for you to say. You're the young engine they brought to help me out in my old age. I feel like they brought you here just to replace me. I, I won't let that happen. Uh, no matter what they do, I'll always be here for you. You promise? I promise. <laughs> now, now watch this. <coughs> it's great to hear you're doing well, Dane. I wish I could say the same. My boiler's dreadfully clogged. Ooh, ah, would you take the first passenger train to the station in the line of back? You know, please, a little or me. I, uh, uh, well, uh, I, I suppose, but what about my chunting? Ah, no, no, I should have known better than to ask. I'll just, you know, try and push through the pain and the pain of broken limbs. I, I mean, I'd, I'd be more than willing to help, as long as you tidy up the sidings for me once you're feeling better. Oh, Dane, you're a lifesaver. I may be old, but I'm still youthful. This is my chance to prove myself. Stop for a while until the fog clears.
Perhaps if I told him that the tracks before the bridge could still be icy. I mean, just because the snow melted doesn't mean it's safe for him to bridge. Duncan, you fool! I warned you about the ice patches this morning! Ha! It's not my fault you can't keep the line maintained properly! The line is maintained properly, Duncan. I always make absolutely sure of it. I'm not going to let you annoy me today, Duncan. It's the first nice day in months, and nearly all the snow's melted. This part of the line has never looked so... nice. Of course, the, uh... So and ice weren't the only thing I didn't like about this stretch of track. Oh, pa! It's about you and your haunted valley again! Rubbish! It is haunted by the spirit of an old engine. I saw him myself. I... Mm, well, here I'll see what you see. Duncan! I know you saw him too. Or at least... Some form of him. I said the sooner you stop believing in silly ghost stories, the better. Now can you move, please? My train's late. <laughs> Duncan, you have to listen to me. It's real, and it's only going to get worse if we don't do something about it. <laughs> Listen to me. No! If Sir Top of Mouse says there's nothing going on, then there's nothing going on. You're just a cracked out old fuss pot anyway. James, I, I don't I've been stuck at the works for months thanks to your poor signal work, and now I'm finally free. I'm not letting you get in the way. Move aside. James, please wait. I just. I need to ask the. I won't tell anyone about your blue engine if that's what you're worried about. Just as long as you keep me away from that. A horrible branch line. And leave me out of all the monster business. I don't want any part of it. Not after. <laughs> Take it that didn't go too well. I'm afraid not. Did you speak with Duncan? Oh, don't ask. He just didn't want to hear it. Just pretended like I was crazy. It's definitely was the same too after he spoke with Henry. They both think I'm crazy too. So, it's up to us then. Uh, seems that way, yeah. Well, I'm lucky for you and Edward. I have to go back to the station now, Rusty. Don't want to stop him out finding out I've abandoned my post again. He's already fed up with me as it is. Rusty, we're in for a nasty bit of weather tonight. So I need you and the workmen to go along the line at once. Then what Sir, phone for you. No, oh, bother that telephone. All right, I'm coming. Uh, Rusty, I must leave at once. There's been a mine collapse and an avalanche at the calling plant. You'll receive the rest of your jobs later on.
Fox M20 should be pulling in any minute. <laughs> Too bad I'll miss seeing him. years ago on James's first day, and Rusty's encounter, plus the accidents at the mine and the new station all but confirmed my suspicions. Now, uh, so Tom Hatt's informed me that he is pausing the branch line restoration, though it, well, it seemed like my advice had little to do with that decision. It's true about the branch line. Everyone's gone. And... There was nothing strange about being there. I felt... nothing. So Top Hat's probably forgotten about that branch line, you know? Bet you anything he's focused on that new quarry, you know, the one that's just up Wait. past... ANOTHER NEW PROJECT! You two, keep your wits about you at that quarry, and keep an eye out for anything strange. Owen and I will stay near the lake. Um, Alwyn, you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Sorry. Mm. You two get back to where you're supposed to be. Force the top man finds out you're gone. <laughs> Sir, he's, uh, he's gonna go after Rusty again, isn't he? Harwin. Uh, I just don't know. Good morning. Where's my delivery? It's called the Thumper. Supposed to help collect the rock faster. Headed to the new quarry. Pretty revolutionary technology, but I uh, don't expect it to say much. Uh, when 1020 finds out we've returned, do you reckon it'll even show? Our oh, theory knows we're already here, are we? Hello there. Thumper, is it? My name's Edward. Hello. I heard you were working at the new quarry. Uh, work's just begun and it's already busy up there, so I expect they'll have a lot for you to do. It's forever. Work is work. Rocks are rocks. I can handle it. Well, uh, <clears throat> right. Off we go then, I suppose. Oi! Where do you think you're going? The Ten twenty. You here? Oh, we just want to talk to you. What do you want from me, little? Stop. 
those engines. They're innocent. Innocent? You want to lecture me on innocence? We're, what are you talking about? Don't play dumb. You know what I mean. <laughs> Come now. Don't be coy. Just tell me. Why did you do it? How long? know precisely what I speak of my accident and my fate. You thought you'd get away with it, didn't you? What dead enemies tell me tales. How, how could you possibly know? I know all little engine! I know what you did and how you lied. My accident was your fault! Is that true? I, 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 I could have stopped at those pillars had you said something, but you did it. How, how could you do that to me? I should have known this would be true. I finished with you. You managed by some marvelous feat. <laughs> and ever since then, my soul has ached. And until I find peace, I will live forever in my revenge. Just like I told that little shed in silence inspection diesel. I feel my time with them is far too short. Have you been working anywhere before this quarry? Yeah, just testing. Ah, trials, I see. <laughs> what was that like for you? That's what I do. Oh, fair enough. What happened to you? It's not their fault. Well, obviously. We both don't do it. These newer engines so weak. Getting inside their heads, reading every worry, every fear, so clearly. It got quite dull. But then I came across that little diesel. Their steely demeanor is stuck in the face to me, so I will find out what they fear, and I will destroy them. Just like the others. Just like I will do. And then perhaps I will feel better. Dane, please be reasonable. Enough! Revenge or peace, I will have one or the other, and now, Harwin, the choice is yours. Either do the right thing or don't, and watch these engines suffer. A failure. We have to head back to the blueprints, try and figure out what made it do such a bad job. Bad job. That job. Failure. Failure. Are you all right? I'm fine. I'm sure, you 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 seem to be. I'm fine. Going to the quarry, I'm sure of it. We, we gotta go and help Rusty. Darwin, we should talk about what 1020. <clears throat> about what Dane 
just said. I, uh... You're right. We have to help Rusty. And all the others. But... Oh, Harwin. What have you done? many things, although it's dangerous up there. Why? Well, it's because of... Whoa! What is that? It's called Thumper. Uh, they've said he'll help collect the rock faster. You work here, right? I'm not really trying to make small talk, just, just point me to where Stone needs Thumping, pal. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah yes, yes. Of course. Hmm. Be on your guard, you two. Something's not quite right. What, with Thumper? Don't have to be an engineer to work that one out, Edward. Not just with Thumper. It's... everything. All around us. You two would do well to heed my warning. What is it with engines today and speaking in riddles, Percy? You think if they have something to say, they say it clearly. new machines here. This is the place. The men will tell you where they want you. Just keep an eye on the cliff tops, will you? It seems like it could be dangerous. Appreciate the concern, but I trust the men to keep things safe while I'm working. Let's get you all rattled anyway. Because, because of that big boulder up there. I, I think it's watching me. Don't be an idiot. Boulders don't have eyes. Well, Thumper, there's something strange about... Job to do. I'm sure getting caught in a rock slide isn't in your plans for today, so why don't you fetch some more trucks? Stay out of my way. Clear? about a rock of watching them. When I'm here to listen to ghost stories, I just want to do my work and do a good job. Too much to ask for? I mean, really. Bad. 
Ugh. Do see how that dealer got the idea though. Better pack it up, lads. It's not safe to work in this weather. What about that new machine? Let's throw a tarp over it. Let's go. Rusty, I don't understand why exactly I saw so insisted on watching this thing, but it just looks like a boulder to me. I have a bad feeling about it, driver. I feel like it's watching me. Oh, hey! What is that? Oh, we best leave till the weather's better. The rain's loosened some of this rock. Keep up the good work, Bumper! Come on, 
doing a good job. Look at me. Come on. What's going on? I, I want that machine shut off right now. Uh, uh, driver? Boulder's moving! Don't be so daft. It can't! Hello, little diesel. We meet again. Hello? Who's there? We have met. I told you I would have my revenge. You eluded me once. But not again. Just be behind your
saw, Edward. I saw how he... It's around. It's, it's the water. And we're, we're surrounded. We'll never escape him. He can... He can go anywhere. He can find us anywhere. <sighs> so... What do we do now? I... I don't know. There they are. Rusty! What? How, how did you know we were here? Well, at the lake, I I spoke to him. Uh, and, uh... Well, you realise something. I haven't been honest with you two. Ten, twenty. His name, when I knew him, was Dane. He was my friend, but, well, it, but it, Harwin, I think you're the only one who can make this right. I saw something when he was in my head, it's, it's the water. There's a dam on Toby's line, a huge dam, and all this rain. Toby's probably there too. He could be in trouble. You can't go past here! No, seriously, you can't go past! The, the track is all subsided and... Come back! You two, come with me! Owen. Take care, my old friend. Goodbye, old baby. I know you're there. I'm here. I'm here to make things right. I know that what I did all those years ago can never be forgiven. I should have told someone about the points. Oh. I guess I should tell someone about that. Oh, I'll let the signalman know when I get back. You're right, Bane. I lied. And you paid the ultimate price. I've got it! Look at me go! <laughs> no! Help! No! No! It never admitted it. Your accident was my fault! What did you that morning? It was unforgivable. Thank <laughs> you.
admitting your guilt means nothing to me. The time for that has passed. I know that, and I know what I have to do to make things right. But these engines, they've done nothing wrong. It, it was never about just you, Harwin. These engines, they insist on progress. And the more they disturb the world around me, the sooner engines like me are forgotten. They are just as guilty as you are. You only resent them because of me. If I make things right, you have to promise me that you will leave them alone. Are you truly ready? Yes. I am. It is time. Rusty showed me everything, and uh, I want to apologise for not listening. I just hope my engines are safe now. They are, but I hope in future you think twice about callously unearthing the past, simply for the sake of progress. Yes, I think. <clears throat> I think. We should have left this part of the island alone. They moved the boulder to a hill close by the yard. Rusty sometimes feels that on a clear night, it is gazing up at the mountain. But most nights, Rusty feels nothing at all. <laughs> <laughs>